Hi everyone, um, I just wanted to make this a different video, um, so if you aren't really familiar with this car, I'll just quickly say this is mine and my partner's project's car, it's um, an EF Civic or EC9 Civic, um, fourth generation Honda, sorry I am so tired today. Um, so yeah just trying to get back into the swing of things of making youtube videos because instagram is just so different like you film in portrait mode on your phone and you just quickly edit a reel that's that that's so much easier but i've got to learn to like talk and explain things and get my words out so yes um i'm just gonna use this video to explain to you my plans or our plans shall i say um for the project car because that's what you will be watching you'll be watching the journey of this car um hopefully if i get my act together and i film regular videos for you guys um so the plan is is obviously already got um an aftermarket splitter um which came all the way from the Netherlands. It took like over three months to get here. Um, so yes, do not recommend um, waiting on parts. It's just going to be a nightmare, but I'm just going to have to get used to it because many parts I can just get from my beloved brand, Kittle Chrome, but um, Honda parts, a bit more tricky. Um, so we've got the splitter on. Um, basically, it's gonna we're going to full-on strip the car um, we're going to re get it re-sprayed and we're going to prime it, strip it down ourselves. Um, so I'm going to learn this whole process, which I've never even done before. Um, but my partner is a panel beater, so um, he does know, he can teach me things, which is great, really handy. Um, so yes, we're going to be doing it, most of it ourselves, really. Um, so we're going to be getting new wheels for it very soon. Um the wheels we have on it right now, I do kind of like them, but I would like something cooler. Um, and also, I think we're going to lower the car a tiny bit more, but we're going to get a different exhaust because our exhaust is in fact rusty. And um, it also does hang too low, so every time we go over speed bumps, it does scrape. Um, which is quite annoying and especially we live in like the countryside so with bumpy roads and things it is kind of a challenge um, But we also don't want a massive arch gap and no It's not a car that we're gonna put on air because we don't have the money for that and also I just don't think That I'm prepared to go all that out on this car yet um, So it's also gonna have I'm gonna get a quick release steering wheel for it um, I might get rid of the back seats haven't decided yet and obviously we're gonna respray it because there is some rust we need some rust uh, sorting out um, it's got rust on the sunroof um, and it's got rust on the back wheel arch as well um, and on the boot so we've got a new panel for that um, just need to sort out the sunroof and also the big thing we're doing to this car is we're going to engine swap it. So we're really in over our heads here. Um, we're going to engine swap it to a D16 uh, VTEC engine. So hopefully, <laughs> also it's fuel injected so I can finally get rid of this choke. And for me, driving with this choke, I just cannot seem to get used to it. Coming from a Mini, which has a stop and start button where you don't even need the keys in the car to go to like a choke and having to like warm up the car and you know it's just it is a bit of a challenge so i know it is nice to keep it authentic but there is something that is going and we're going to change that what else have i missed have i missed anything else so yeah gonna respray we haven't just chosen on a color yet that is the thing and the color will be a secret just because you should keep it a secret more fun that way so yeah um also, I do want to change the seats. I want to get bucket seats and harnesses, but that's not going to work. I don't think. It's just going to be a pain because me and my partner are both driving it and both insured on it. So we do need like adjustable rails um, and with the harnesses, it's just, I don't think it's going to work. It's just going to be a bit of a pain. So uh, I do want to change the seats though, for sure. So basically the whole car is just going to look so much different whilst we're done with it. And I'm hoping it'll be ready for Jackfest next year, but I'm not really sure. It is quite a big 
project and probably not enough time especially if I decide to go back to uni that's not really gonna work out so yeah we'll see but it's fun and if you want inspiration for you know you're a young girl like me trying to modify her car or trying to do this project which she's waiting over her head with then this is the videos that you want to be watching um so yeah um let me know if you like these videos um if you want more of them and also any tips and feel free to correct me whenever because as i say like i'm not exactly you know i don't work in cars i don't know it all so um I'm definitely still learning, um, definitely still learning about Hondas, I do know a lot more about Minis, but yeah, definitely learning about Hondas, and I will be sure to make a video of my modified Mini, because that is almost complete for me, so I'm just, I'll do a walk round of that video, walk round of the car, and make a video about the Mini as well, because diff two different audiences, I know totally different cars, um, which is exactly what my Instagram is like, so... It will be fun to make some videos on both cars. Plenty of content. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed listening to me chat shit. Um, and enjoy the rest of your day. Whatever you're doing. I hope you have a good day. <laughs> I hope your project car is going well. And I will see you in the next video.